Hey guys, um, so in this video we are going to develop the login page of our simple inventory. Um, we will call this one a simple inventory management system, in short IMS, and then um, this one. So here um, the login page, so this is a just the design so this will guide us in our coding so we have a um, shorthand and then here the name of our system and then here is the form and then so in our form we'll have two inputs uh, the username and then the password and then the login button and also we need to center everything in our login page and then here um, we should add a background image so let's get started um, just close this one so for this one I'll just use store the files with HTML files in our documents so you can store it anywhere you like so at PHP but I MS so now here um, so I'm using Sublime for the code. Um, I can just start writing in HTML. So I'll just save this one in the folder we just created. Uh, the IMS and then let's just call this one login that HTML and save. Now let's start um, so let's open an HTML tag so in our body tag so this is where the visible uh, content of our page so let's just go back to the folder and then open in our this one in the browser and as you can see here it's empty so now let's update our header tag the meta tag title and set this one as inventory management system and then here may be the acronym of our system and do login so once we refresh the page as you can see here it shows us the title of our page and here uh, in our body tag so let's start coding the uh, page now we are going to open the design of our file I mean page so just open this one and then um, so first thing to do is the assets or images so we need to have this one inside our folder the image um, so in our folder uh, we can create the f folder um, we just named this one as images so this will store our yep will store all the images in our system here um, maybe we'll just copy this one and paste and then rename this one as login uh, background 
Ups. So I think that's the only image we need for this page. Um, so now let's start. Um, so here, uh, let's group or add a dev for, and then this inside of the dev we have the form. But before the form, maybe we divide this one. So this is like the header so uh, maybe here so in CSS they have I mean in H HTML we have the class attribute and class attribute is useful especially if you are um, styling uh, you can select this class and style all the elements with with uh, anything you want so here uh, we use a class to name our block so this one here um, just name this one as our login um, header Then here um, we have IMS, so just use H1 for that one. Do IMS. Then here the maybe this one below uh, another header tag but smaller H3 and inventory management system the here uh, uh, this one here the form section let's just use another dev and then we call this one the login body then here um, let's open a form and then two input types and then a button however since we have this username um, I mean a new element so I think it's nice if we just group this one here so I'll add a new dev so here it will have the username so for form you can use the label um, attribute and then I mean label tag and then here you just use or input username and then here we need to have a text input then let's just grab this one copy and paste below and then here the password and then here the type is also a password so the four is I think this is for readability I mean accessibility um, So now we add a new div and this one it will have the button, the submit button, um, the login button. Then let's refresh our page and as you can see we have rendered all the content of uh, this one to our um, browser 
now let's do a styling so for this one um, we can add the styling in our header and then set the style or open a style tag then here we will do the styling of those of, the, of our page um, however um, I'm going I'm not going to use this one so we are going to use our link or put our CSS, CSS um, files or code in another uh, file and the way to do that one is we just need to link so as you can see here style sheet uh, it automatically uh, write the correct attributes then here the href we can just create a folder and do uh, CSS then here CSS then login that CSS so I'm going to create that file uh, new file then inside the CSS folder I'm going to put this one so now we have the login CSS so for this one I can just do the change the layout into two columns so I can have I can look two files at once or at one display rather than switching the files so now um, so the first thing we need to do is the background um, so here we can use this one um, let's add a class and uh, let's call this one our container and in CSS we can um, grab this element here by using the dot symbol so you can also do that container or you can also just use container then here Um, let's just um, test if it this works and then so as you can see since we set the this black here to uh, display to none uh, as you can see in our browser it's not it's returning nothing so which means that our CSS is working so now the first thing we need to do is we add a background to our uh, page so so using the property background um, we can add the URL of the image we want to add or set as background and then here I uh, just use our link the image images and then and I think this one let's check the file gpg then let's refresh our page so it's not working uh, 
URL images let's just do select F12 so if you are um, having issue uh, you can just open the Chrome developers tool then here you can select error like for this one uh, as you can see it didn't load the uh, images login background so I think I just need to remove this one then refresh it's not also loading Ah, I see. So since we are, this is in this folder. We need to get out of that folder. Uh, and then load that one. I think it would be a double um, period. So yeah, that's it. Now uh, we are now able to load the image. So now as you can see we need it to be center so we can position the image to center center So the problem with this image is that once I do scroll down, it will create the duplicate. So as you can see, it has three uh, images. So we don't want that one. So we need to be, I mean, we need to make it a full screen um, background image. So you can just set here no repeat and then once we use the one so we don't see the duplicate and then we need to position the image um, we have to do center center and then as you can see it's now center and then we need to use fix so won't um, move so now uh, we need to do the size change the size then here we just need to use cover so as you can see um, it is now so as you can see it's now a background image for our um, login page however uh, we need to move our selector so instead of container we're going to use the body so you can use um, a tag instead of a class so you can use the HTML tag and select that one and set style for that tag so once we refresh this one as you can see we are now able to um, how do you go that one set a full background image then now let's do update text So now here in our style we need to uh, 
the header centered so since we have this one we can just use our select that one and then text align center so it is now centered now we need to set color and styling so here um, for the IMS uh, so since this one here I just signed that one using um, so this one here I decided this one using uh, Photoshop so I'm going to open the Photoshop file of that page and then use that one to see the colors and maybe font size so stuff like that so this one um, so let's style the h1 first so can do login header then select the h1 and font size let's do bigger size 45 or bigger than so i'm just going to close that one then so this one and also this one so set the font size to 45 or maybe 60 then here set the font weight bold so it will become bold so i think it's already bold since this is h1 um you can just remove that one so set the color to this one uh, you just grab that one as you can see now updated then here you can remove the padding so we don't have that big space or I think it's the margin yep so it's the margin then also let's make it 100 px so it will be bigger also let's style that one so let's select the color mm -hmm. ah. so let's just grab that one then here let's select log uh, login header H3 and then color so as you can see it's now updated and then I think instead of H3 you can just use a paragraph and then refresh then we just change the font size to 80 then for this one we need to remove I think 80 is bigger um, let's just do 50 <coughs> then for that one just need to do add uh, the border 
uh, 10px then solid type and then here can just update and as you can see um, we have added the, bo the border but I think the border is very big so let's just do 5px and then let's remove the margin Oops. And then see our design so now as you can see here um, this border should be just on this uh, just below the text and it should not exceed or this here should should not have the border so just align with the text and then so in order to use this dot one um we can use the after uh, method or selector I don't know what it is but here in our login P we can use uh, use the after and then uh, we need to specify the content And then here display black and then the height so we just make it 5px and then set the background to this one and let's try to refresh so as you can see we have rendered two uh, border so we can just remove that one then here so it's still showing the I mean it's still displaying the entire width I mean the border is still uh, in so as you can see on um, the border it's still using the full width of our device or screen so here we can use um, the width maybe 50 percent and then can you see margin to center so as you can see it is now under the this one the the text and not the entire width so now uh, next is the form um, but before that we need to add a margin between our login header so margin but bottom of uh, maybe uh, 30 px as you can see it is now I can use 50 then here let's start um, designing or adding style to our login form so first is we need to center this one so we can use the login body and then use margin auto to center 
but the problem is we need to set the width of this one and I think instead of the login body I think we can just directly use the form so I can use the dev login body and use the form and then we maybe 500 px so as you can see it is now in the center so let's just use this as our temporary width um, so now let's start styling the form so for this one the background um, we can use so this one it's a color black we can just use RGBA then use 0 0 0 and here the opacity set it to 0.5 and as you can see it's not a full black and we can still see the background image which is what we want then here we need to add the padding between the text or the user inputs and then the form is equal padding I will use uh, 50 so now in our the text let's style our text text um, input text so we need the username to be any single line so for this one we can name this input as login input container so watch if you are going to do that one or style the login input then select the label so let's just set set the one to block and as you can see through both of the inputs their labels are in um, different not different but in a new line and then maybe will add the margin between the two inputs uh, and then here the label we need to transform it into uppercase uppercase uh, set the font size maybe to 20 px then change the color to white but we need to use bold to make it bigger and then here set the color to white so as I can see we have now the same uh, before we continue let's just add a border to our form then px solid and then the color and I think it's bigger uh, let's do 2px and then we need to have a curve edges so we can just use border regions 5px or maybe 8 so 
so now it's now it has now a curved edges and I think for our for this one um, I think we can set the width of the form maybe 450 then add a bigger margin um, sixty PX then here uh, our inventory the this one should be um, uppercase and then let's change the width of our border um is that one so it will use um the So now, um, actually for this one, we can transform this one, change its um, display to um, inline blacks. So once we change that one, in our after tag, so for the border, we can just use or remove the width since it will automatically um, set the so since this one here um, it is not an, a black element since we change this one to inline black so it will not take all the space in our screen so once I do the scrolling here or zooming it will the border so now let's go to our form so here we need to have surname and password so for our form um, so we can first let's just style first the the text the inputs um here let's select the input then change the height 
fifty maybe um thirty <laughs> then once this is done let's use the width and set 200 percent and then okay I think um, change I want to 30 then let's add a Um, what about this one? Select the the border color. Um, this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Border. Um, not border, but yeah, border. PX solid and that color then also we need to add the So we need to add the not add but change the font size since right now it's smaller uh, font size to twenty then maybe we add the padding of five px and then text align center so once you write it will be centered and then also we can use placeholder attribute and then here we can use username then password so once we refresh this one we'll have the username text and then the password once it's empty it will show us what type of data we need to input so now we need to do the login um, so here let's just try to do um, login button container and then do the one select in our CSS and then margin tab 40 px then here for our button um, can use the and then select the button and then here um, so for this one you can just center the X align center so we we can center the button and then here let's select font size to 15 maybe uh, 20 then add the padding of uh, 20px for both sides well I guess we need to add the top and bottom a 10 pixel of padding and then the left and the right will have 20 
then here uh, I think we can use it's just make the text bigger for our button okay and then here we can style the color um, so we need to have a background of that one then a border none and set the color to white so let's just add more padding here hmm. I think we can just use 20 and use 40 px so I think um, that's it um, actually let's just update the font style I mean the the font family um, so for this one We use Arial, so I think can just use font family. I think you can just use this one area. See if this will update. Yeah, it updates and uh, and also I guess all of the text here are real, so I can just use the body and then set the one to Arial and when I refresh so everything is updated then here the username should be in italics so in our input let's do a font style italic and as you can see it's now in italic and then maybe we'll just have more margin on the top or yeah maybe we'll make it 30 and I think that's it so as you can see here um, sorry So this is our design and this is in our browser and I think they look almost the same. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, I'll put the link of our channel below and you can also watch our playlist so PHP um, QA and then HTML for beginners. So we just started this. Uh, channel but every week we'll be uploading uh, videos so that's it guys um, thank you